Thank you for joining this module four of our series. I am John Woodward and I will be sharing with you a practical design of our no opto flyback controller. Our first device to feature this no opto flyback solution is the Max 17690. The Max 17690 is a peak current mode fixed frequency switching controller. It has a wide input voltage range of four and a half to 60 volts and is designed to provide isolated flyback regulation. The use of the no-opto design will minimize your bomb by approximately 50% and your solution size by up to 30% by removing the opto coupler and its associated components. Here's the typical schematic of the MAX17690. You can see how the device on the left, the external MOSFET in the middle there, the transformer just above that, and instead of a diode-based rectification on the secondary side of the transformer, we are showing the use of the MAX17606. The MAX17606 enhances the no-opto design by providing increased efficiency for your application with the automatic FET driver. This design is done to provide a regulated 5 volts at 1 amp. Here we are showing one of the two states of operation as the device is running in steady state. In this case, the external FET is on. When the FET is on, the current flows through the primary side of the transformer and energy is stored in the magnetizing inductance of the primary side. This biasing of the transformer is such that the input voltage is seen on the top side, as seen in the circuit, and the polarizing of the windings in the transformer, the secondary side, has the positive side on the bottom of the transformer in this picture. With the positive side on the bottom on the secondary side of the transformer, the rectifier is off and not conducting any current. All energy to the load during this state is provided by the output capacitance. You can see some ringing in the waveform of the primary side inductor current as it ramps in green at the top. This is due to the parasitics inherent from the transformer. Now you can see what happens on the second state of the circuit when in steady state and the primary FED is turned off by the MAX17690. When the primary FED is off, all that energy that was stored in the primary side inductance has to go somewhere. It can't just disappear and it is transferred through the transformer to the secondary side. It reverses the polarity of the secondary side winding and the MAX17606 turns on and is now conducting current through the output capacitor. This charges the output capacitor and provides current to the load. Again we see rings in points one and, two, 1 and 3 on the plot due to the parasitics of the circuit. In point number 2, as the current dissipates and is close to zero on the secondary side, the MAX17690 senses the voltage on the primary side and makes the adjustments in order to keep the output voltage in regulation. Now we will review the performance of the MAX17690 based on a specific design. You can see we have a typical input voltage of 24 volts with a range of a minimum of 18 volts and a max of 36 volts. We're targeting 5 volts of V out with plus or minus 5 percent. We have an output current of 1 amp isolation specs of 1500 volts DC for one minute, functional isolation, and 85 degrees C max ambient temperature. Here you can see the output voltage regulation. Again we are targeting 5 volts and we have plotted that over the full load of up to 1 amp. There are three different groups. Basically we have plotted over a full temperature range of minus 40 to 85 degrees C. Each band of measurements is very tight and well within the 1% accuracy. As we vary the temperature, we are still well within our 5% accuracy target as set by this example. As you can see, the MAX17690 no opto flyback device is a great way to still provide great accuracy to your design with isolation while eliminating the size and the complexity of a traditional isolated design with the opto coupler and its associated features. Thank you for your attention. This concludes the practical design using the MAX17690 no-opto flyback converter.